It is becoming one of the world's most important pieces of technology and you can't even see it. It is so popular. In fact, Apple is now staking their claim. So what exactly is the cloud? Here's Dave Malkoff with an explanation. The next time you hear someone talk about the cloud, don't think here, think here. A real place beyond this giant door. We're in a data center here in Agora Hills with ABS Internet. Across the country, around the planet, these huge rooms known as data centers are running, collecting, and churning your pictures, your video, your life around the Internet. Servers run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Clayton Wise works in what looks like a regular office building, but inside, it's what you've heard even the late Steve Jobs refer to as the cloud. Now, some people think the cloud is just a hard disk in the sky. A lot of people don't know what it is. The beauty of it is they don't have to. Oh, it's uh, Rick Iberg. Rick and Clayton work in an invisible industry. You may never come here, but if you've ever gone to a bank, if you've ever gone to a hospital, if you use things like Flickr and Google and the cloud runs a big chunk of your life. What happens when I take a picture and I upload it to Flickr or Facebook? What, what is that? Sure. So these are a bunch of servers that are actually grouped together in a cloud. That photograph is taken and sent to these servers here. So we take that and make a copy of it. The copy spreads all over the data center. So if one computer crashes, your photo doesn't go away. The cloud uses massive amounts of power. This 6,000 square foot facility whirs on 1.2 megawatts of electricity. There's enough power in this room to run over 1,200 homes. Facebook's brand new facility in Oregon is 50 times larger than ABS's place in the valley. We're looking at one rack here. They might have hundreds if not thousands of racks. It's not only loud in here, but it also feels like the meat section or the freezer section of the grocery store. Right, so yeah. servers generate a lot of heat. The more you at home do on the internet, the hotter these computers get. In a data center like this, air conditioning's always on. The cold air never stops, even in a power outage, to keep it running. This is essentially a wall full of batteries. There's battery backup and two diesel generators. We named them Ben Franklin and Thomas Edison. Out back. There's about 1,200 gallons of fuel underneath your feet. As more people start using the cloud, internet companies like ABS and Facebook are looking for ways to do more with less power. Part of the reason why Facebook is in Oregon. It's already cold up there, so they can use less AC. It almost feels like I'm up in the cloud because I'm getting my hair blown and my tie and everything. I guess it is, right? This is really the cloud, isn't yeah. it? So the very next time you upload something to the cloud, you'll know what that is. Pull the cover off. Oh, yeah. See how these drives here, these are the hard drives inside of the system. Hard drives in a chilly box. Inside the ABS cloud, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Who knew? Now we do. Now we know. Absolutely. Thank you, Dave.